up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Soto Kamen Rider Geats ID2. So this is the second Soto set for Geats. And unlike the first set, this one is all Geats. So we'll take a quick look here at the breakdown of the case. So we have two boxes down here for Geats Boost Magnum form. Then we have two boxes here for Tycoon Ninja form. Then we have a Tycoon Ninja Revolve On, so that's Ninja as the Pants. Then we have the entry form for Nago. Then we have Buffa Zombie form. We actually get two of those. And then we get, uh, this is like Buffa slash uh, Ginpen entry form. Now, I don't know why they couldn't have given us two of these instead of two of these. Because then we could make one of each. Because with this box, you kind of have to decide if you want it to be either Buffa or uh, Ginpen. You know, you have the parts to do one or the other. And I don't really need two Buffa Zombie forms. I'm hoping maybe I can take the extra box and, and somehow make this work. I don't think that's going to be how it goes. But I really wish if they were going to give us a duplicate, give us two of this one. Or I guess technically this one, because this one can also be uh, Mary, I believe. So let's take a look at these boxes here. So up first, we have Geet's Boost Magnum. So this is kind of Revolve On, we're now... Uh, boost is the torso and Magnum is the legs. And the nice thing is they don't show you the breakdown here on the front anymore, but they do have it here on the side. So you can see what you get in the box now here on the side of the box, which is actually pretty cool. And then you have the line up down below that. So next up we have Tycoon Ninja Form. Then we have Tycoon Ninja Form Revolve On, which we haven't even seen this in the show yet, so we're getting kind of a little sneak preview here. I don't know if it ever will show up in the show, but I would assume that it will. And then up next we have Nago's Entry Form. And you can see Mary over here, and you can see that you do get a helmet so if we could have got an extra one of these, I think the bracelets are molded in. We'll have to take a look when we actually open this box up, but I think they're molded in. They are stickers as well, but I think they're also molded in. Then we have Buffa Zombie Form. And I mean, you could do like a Geats Zombie Form um, with an extra one of these, technically. Just use a Geats head from the first set. Or Geet's Helmet, rather. But the way this breaks down, I don't think I'm going to be able to do use this body. You could use probably the, the, the waist down as an entry form, but... So then this is the extra box, and then here we have Buffa slash Ginpen entry form. So you can see that you do get, uh, I guess the helmet's over here, but the stickers for it are over here. So this is just kind of like a base body. So technically you could probably get, well no, because you need the arms. See, I hate the way they divide this out. So to really get all of the riders, you'd have to buy like two extras of this set, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they would have at least given us one extra with this because this one doesn't have the molded in bracelets. Although I'll have to check, you might be able to get away with the other one as well. So we'll see. But in any case, that is the boxes that we have here. So that is 12 in total, even though there are 14 in the box. I don't know why they're not just giving us 12 instead of 14. Or like I said, if you're going to give us a duplicate, give us one that can help out. But that's the case of Sorbonne here. So I'm going to go ahead, get these built and stickered up, and then we'll take a closer look. Here is Soto Geats ID2, fully stickered and assembled. We will start over here on the left with Magnum Boost form for Geats. So you can see here we get the display stand, we get an open set of hands here, which I've just put into the base. We have a sticker for Geet's Boost Magnum. And then all these stands are pretty typical. You have the little ball joint here, you have the hinge. You can store some extra accessories here on the sides. You can peg them into each other. They can also kind of clip and honeycomb together. So I think these bases are pretty cool. But here is Boost Magnum. He looks really, really good. It was a decent amount of stickers. 
And he comes with two versions of the Magnum Shooter 40X. So we have the little handgun mode here. And then we get a second version of the rifle mode. And the reason they did that is because it is slightly different from the one that came in ID1. And I will show you very quickly. Here is Magnum Boost from ID1. So you can see this time it was molded out of white plastic. This time it was molded out of black plastic. He can't actually hold this one, which I think is interesting. Uh, this one is made to peg into his hand. This one is made just to clip onto the belt. So you can see here it has this little clip. And we didn't get it with the first one, but in this new one with Boost Magnum, we have this little clip. Now you can take it out. It's just a little piece that pegs in. So if I move the scarf out of the way and move the arm out of the way, we can go ahead and... It's a little difficult, but it does peg in. It's just there's not much to grab onto once you peg it in there. But there we go. So it is just a little piece. You can peg it onto anyone. It doesn't have to be on this Geats figure. But then it has this little uh, long peg. And then that just pegs in here. And so the gun can be holstered. You can also do it with the smaller version. So if you want to take this out of his hand. And then this will peg in here in much the same fashion. If I can actually get it to go. There we go. So you can holster either version of the Magnum Shooter, which I think is really cool. I like that. So you have uh, two versions of the rifle mode, one that can be holstered and one that can be held. And then you have a small version of the handgun mode that can do both. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm going to take this off for now just so we can get into articulation and everything. But the head looks good. Uh, it's mostly painted. Just the eyes, I believe, are stickers. And of course we have a ball joint here. Articulation for these is going to be very similar to ID1. But you can see it really does look up pretty far. It can look down. Uh, turn side to side. Tilt side to side a lot. Really nice range of motion there. Then you have the hinge here for the shoulder piece. As well as this. You kind of get the butterfly joint. Because this is just kind of popped into this channel here. So you can slide that back and forth. To kind of give you a butterfly joint effect. As well as a rotation. Uh, you do have a hinge as well out to the side. You have a bicep swivel. You have pretty much 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more there in the elbow. The hands are on like tiny little ball joints, so you can actually move them all around. Uh, of course, the waist can swivel. With the legs, just like the others, you have to kind of pull them down a little bit so that they can then fit up into the cavity. And that's done so that when you have them just normally, they will uh, fill in all the dead space, which is nice. But you can kick out to the side. Can't really go backwards because he's got kind of a butt flap there. But you do have a thigh swivel as well. You have a little more than 90 degrees there in the knee. And then you have a ball joint in the ankle. And you have a little bevel there so that it can tilt. So really nice articulation. And all of these have pretty much the same articulation. But there was a lot of stickers on here. Um, all of the white pretty much here is stickers. Uh, the orange is a sticker. This is painted. A lot of white painted here. The entire kind of shin knee area is painted white. And then any of the black you see is actually stickers. Whereas here it's quite the opposite. That's just molded in black plastic and all the white is stickers. Uh, I think the chest here was painted. The shoulders are painted. But then the bit of gray there is a sticker. Putting the stickers on these exhaust pieces is not easy. I'm hoping we're kind of done with Boost for that uh, reason alone. Just because they're kind of a pain. And then you have the scarf piece back here, which has one little sticker on it. But you have a nice range of motion with that as well. But yeah, very cool. I like this quite a bit. I think he looks really good. So now you have Magnum and Boost, both in both versions. So here is, again, Magnum Boost from ID1, and now Boost Magnum from ID2. So you are covered. Very cool. I'm liking that quite a bit. Going to go ahead and put this back on his belt here, like so. And then we will move on next to Tycoon Ninja Form. So this is just the one. So he has kind of the entry-level legs down here. The uh, Ninja Dueler was a ridiculous amount of stickers. It came out good, though. I think it looks pretty good. That just pegs into his hand very simply. Um, but it was a lot of stickers. Basically, the whole thing's molded in black, so anywhere you see color is stickers. Now, this has a little spot right here, so technically you could put this 
on his side as well. It's got that same peg holster spot. But I just can't imagine this fitting anywhere that wouldn't be ridiculously in his way because it's so huge. I would imagine they're going to give us an option for this, like another version that separates. Um, I don't think you'll ever be able to peg them together. I think they'll just do two separate versions. This one does not separate. And then later they'll give us two small ones that probably won't combine. But just that way you have it in both versions. So that pegs in nicely into his hand. Uh, these little ninja stars here are fully painted and they just peg into the side. There's little notches. Very nice there. I think the form looks good. The head looks good. All of this silver is paint. Uh, pretty much everything that's green, with the exception of the shoulder pads, is stickers. And then you have the orange there on the shoulder pads. And then you have the entry-level legs. So, uh, to go along with that, here is Tycoon Ninja, but Revolve changed so that this is on the pants now. So technically, you could kind of make the form that we're probably going to see with the, um, what is it, Slot Fever Raise Buckle, I think it's called where they get both versions on the top and the bottom. Now, obviously, the buckle won't look right because I, it only has one, but you could technically make this form now. So if he were to use Ninja with the Fever slot, uh, this is what the form would look like. So we can kind of just check that out now and see what it would look like. It's kind of cool. A lot of green. Looks good. But, of course, the belt's going to be wrong, but there's not really anything we can do about that because that piece doesn't exist yet. Uh, but at the same time, you can almost kind of make an entry-level form, too. So this can be entry-level Tycoon. Now, of course, the buckle's wrong. But, again, this is entry-level Tycoon. So what I did, um, this is actually the head from the entry-level Tycoon from ID1. Because they already gave us one of these. And you can kind of see I took the head off. But they're pretty much the same. Again, the buckle, the belt's not going to be correct. But it's still basically the ID entry form for Tycoon here. So what I did was instead of making a second helmet with ID, I keep calling it ID, entry form eyes, what I did was I took the head they gave us and I put the boost eyes on it. So that way I can just have another option. So anytime I want to use Tycoon where he's got nothing up top, I'll use this head and then I can use this for boost. So if I wanted to take this real quick, if I take this off of here... And I pop this off and then say I want to give it with this. Then I would take this head off and then I would take, well, this is only the top. This is still going to have entry form. So I'd have to, that's the only thing. Sometimes it's very difficult to pull these bottom halves of the head off. It really is. Um, I can't, there we go. Okay, that comes off. So then I'd have to take this off. I really don't want to chip the paint, though. I wish there was an easy way to pop these out of here. I mean, they work really well. It's just hard to pop them out. But once they're in there, they're nice and solid in there, and the heads have great articulation. Come along, you. <laughs> this one does not want to come out. All right, cut to 20 minutes later. There we go. So I would take this, I would pop this on here, and then pop this on here. And there you go. Now I would have Boost Tycoon. Oh, I would take the scarf off as well. There we go. So there's Boost Tycoon with Ninja Pants. Again, the buckle and belt are not going to be correct. I don't know if they're planning on giving us, like, crazy combinations for everything. I would honestly love some kind of accessory box or maybe even as a premium bandai thing give us a ton of extra belt options you know give us a bunch of blank ones give us a bunch of combinations give us a bunch of extra heads so that way i can have a head with every correct set of eyes just at the ready so i can make all the combinations i want but it would be something like this so that's pretty cool i like that um i'm gonna put this off to the side and put this all back together later <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put it all back together. I'll be back in a second. Okay, all back to normal. So next up, we have Nago's entry form. And the stickers on this helmet are insane. The entire helmet is painted gold. So everywhere you see black is an individual sticker. 
Like her entire box was basically just stickers for the helmet. It was crazy. She also has stickers for these bangles. Now these are molded on. So basically it's the normal arm with an extra circle of plastic around it. It's just all molded in one solid thing. It doesn't, it's not removable in any way. So you can put the bangle stickers on top of it. But if you were going to buy extra entry forms to use other heads or things like that, I would probably not buy her because then they're going to have bangles and they should not. So just to keep in mind, because she did come with an extra head for Mary here, and I'll tell you what I did for that in a moment. Um, but the body that comes with it is definitely for her because it has those bangles molded on. So this entry form could really only be, unless you had another set of arms from something else, because the rest of the body is the same. But if you're going to use this whole body, I wouldn't buy this box. You could probably get like an extra entry form of Tycoon or Geats. Uh, or the box that comes with uh, Ginpen and Zombie. We'll get all into all that in a minute. But I would probably not use her. But this is a very basic one. Obviously, it's mostly black. So it's really just stickers for the little bit of gray here around the body. And, of course, the belt. I forgot to mention they all have the exact same belt stickers. Uh, again, stickers for the bangles. The head is nuts. And then everything else is just molded plastic. So we've seen the entry form before. It's not super exciting, but... It looks cool, and now we have her head, so we can go ahead and give her crazy combinations and switch things up, which is fun. So I appreciate that. And then she's got the very tiny little core ID sticker there. So that's fun. Uh, same articulation as everybody else. Comes with an open set of hands. They all come with a closed fist set of hands and an open set of hands. So they're pretty much all universal in that respect. So what I did here, like I said, she did come with an extra Mary head here. This is actually the entry form for Geats from ID1. You can see it's got Geats ID core there. But I just wanted to show it off. I mean, structurally, everything is going to be exactly the same. I just popped a different head on here. Um, the head looks good, though. The pink is all paint. The silver is paint as well. So you just have one big sticker for the eyes that goes across the whole thing. And then that little sticker there for the kind of like head crest. But I just took the Geats entry body, popped his helmet off, popped this helmet on, and here you go. Here is an entry form for Mary. But of course the sticker won't line up. But again, that's why I just need extra belts and things. Because I have the stickers. They do give you the stickers in the box. I've just kind of left them on the sheet and kept them somewhere. So that way when if I eventually ever get extra belts... I'll have the stickers ready, but I don't really want to put stickers over top of stickers, so I'm just kind of leaving things as they are. But, you know, you can just kind of pretend, if you don't look at it too close, the, the core ID sticker is the only thing that's wrong. Otherwise, there is an entry form for Mary. Uh, kind of the same thing here with Ginpen. Now, I didn't put a core ID on this belt because I wanted to be able to switch it, and if I had thought about it for Geats, I probably would have done the same. Um, but, I mean, Geats is the main character, so I kind of want all of his forms specific to him. But uh, this one came in a box with this helmet and also a helmet for Buffa, if I don't throw it. So these helmets for Buffa look fantastic, by the way. They are completely painted in purple. The silver horns are painted. All you have to do is put the eyes in, and they're very easy to apply. So I have a set of, you know, blank eyes here for entry form. All I would have to do, take this head off. And this is probably going to be difficult because he's got these pieces that hang down here. So we'll see how this goes. It's kind of annoying. I wish, that's the thing, I really just wish there was a better way to pop these out. I appreciate how sturdy they are. There we go. Didn't break anything. Okay. So what I would do is then I would just pop this on here like so and then pop this head on and then they do give you an extra skirt piece because buffa does have this skirt piece here so we would take him off the stand pop this on the back and then bring that skirt piece in and then there you go now we have buffa's entry form Again, that's kind of why I left the core ID off. Now, they do give you core IDs for both. They actually give you uh, Ginpen's regular and cracked version of his core ID in sticker form. And then we get one for Buffa, but I just decided to leave it off. That way I can use this body for whoever I want at the time, and I don't have to worry about it. But you do have the option for both characters, which is nice. 
I just wish that they gave us more bodies and more belts and more, you know, I just, I want to have everyone in entry form at the same time. So last up here, we have Buffa zombie form. This guy looks great. Really nice job with this guy. Again, most of this purple is painted. So anywhere you see the kind of like lighter metallic purple, that's all paint. The entire uh, skirt piece here is painted, the chest, the head, the arms, that's all paint. The shoulders are silver painted, and then you put this sticker, it kind of wraps around the whole shoulder pad here, as well as the orange stickers for the horns there. The orange eyes are stickers, but all of the mouth and everything, that's paint. The individual orange pieces uh, are stickers, but they actually were pretty decent to apply, not really any problems there. The buckle, I think, actually came out pretty good. It's like three separate pieces, so kind of this bottom tier is a sticker, then the top section is a sticker, and then the core ID is a sticker. And I think that came out pretty good. Uh, the claw over here, this is all orange paint for the fingers. It's just this little piece here on the paw on the back of the hand, and then this orange piece here, and then you have some like gray straps that are stickers. And then of course we have the zombie breaker. That is a lot of large stickers, but it came out pretty good, I thought. I like it. I think it works. It's a really nice size, too. I feel like they didn't cheap out with how short it is. So I'm really impressed with this guy. I think this form looks absolutely fantastic. And again, if we wanted to switch it up and I wanted to do Geats or something like that, I could try to bring Magnum Boost here. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. This head actually pops off fairly easily. Sometimes you get lucky, and if they're still connected to the, uh, like, neck stalk, they will work. So I can give Buffa Magnum here. It's a little difficult with his hair. It kind of gets in the way. And that does kind of restrict articulation, unfortunately. He can't really look back as much because he's got that hair. But then we can give Geats here. Zombie, as we did see in the show. So that's pretty cool. Luckily, the orange for Zombie and Magnum are very close. And I think they're intended to be. I think it's meant to just kind of be the same because they don't have to give you another option for the eyes. Oh, actually, Geats wouldn't have the skirt piece. Come along. So we would put this over here. We'd have to take this off. Come along. And then we'd have to take the scarf off. And it is nice that they all have the spot for the scarf. Like every back piece has that piece for the scarf there. So there we go. There is Geats using Zombie, which I think looks pretty great. And then here is Buffa Magnum Boost. And if you wanted, you could take, you know, give them entry form legs from somebody and then give them a different... Uh, driver there but yeah I just think that's fun there's so many options and different things you can do different forms you can make I mean there's so much playability with this line it's kind of insane all right let me pop this back off but yeah I'm really enjoying it I really am um I have to give a skirt piece but I'll do that later put all that off to the side so it's a really fun line I like it a lot I'm really having a lot of fun with it. I mean, usually for me, it's it's difficult to stay caught up on Soto, but I'm really trying to with this year with Geats just because I'm having so much fun with it. I mean, you make a figure, but it's not just that, okay, I have this figure in Soto form now. It's, oh, I have new pieces to play with. I have new combinations I can do. So many crazy different things, and it's just really, really neat. And I'm having a blast with it so far, so... Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend checking these out. They're fantastic figures. They do take a decent amount of time to get all those stickers on there. But in my opinion, it's really worth it because... I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the Revolve Change figure line is actually shaping up to be pretty cool. But these are just a little bit better proportioned because they don't have to be like tops and bottoms. They don't actually transform. So they all have like the right amount of knees and... and the legs don't have as much articulation as the other line because they don't need to. So these are all really solid figures. I don't know how much or how complete um, the Revolve change figure line is going to be. But at the same time, they only have to put out 
you know, each buckle one time because you can transform it. So it's kind of like you won't have to buy as much there, but it is more expensive. It's it's kind of a trade-off. Honestly, this is the first year where I have trouble deciding which one I like better. I think Soto might have the edge once they're all done and stickered, but Revolve Change Figure has the bonus of not having to do any stickers, and there might be less to buy to still be able to do all the options, but you're also going to be able to display... I feel like you're going to be able to display more with Soto because... You'd have to buy multiples of the other figures to get everything that you want. So it's a, it's a toss-up. But honestly, I'm having a blast with both of them. I think Soto this year has been pretty fantastic, and I'm definitely excited for uh, ID3, which I believe comes out in about a week or so. I know it's towards the end of this month, so definitely going to be uh, ready to get into that one when I can get my hands on it. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I just wish we got more belts, more entry form bodies, more heads so that I can do the, the right amount of different stickers. I just want to have a head with the eyes for every form so that I can make everything that I want. I don't want to have to pick and choose. That's always the one bummer with Soto when they give you more stickers than you have parts for. Um, but yeah, I love these. I think they're fantastic. Definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.